Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how the WEIRD mechanism works. That's W-Y-R-D. So I have an elephant that I've 3D printed here, and you can see around the joints and the feet, there's places that it can bend when I push on it. But the question is, if I push on the tail, what's going to happen with this trunk? Can you try to predict which way you think the trunk is going to move? If you have a guess, put it right now in the comments section. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a push and see what happens. <laughs> You can see it doesn't go anywhere. It stays exactly where it is. So surprisingly, it's hanging in the air completely, but it acts as though it's pinned in place. So every other mechanism on the elephant is translating forward and backward, except for this point right in the middle here. You can see that it's just rotating as if it's pinned in place. This mechanism you see here is called the WEIRD mechanism, W-Y-R-D. And it was actually coined by the Compliant Mechanisms Research Group at Brigham Young University. The CMR group is actually the ones who created the design for this elephant. They actually have a few other different designs that show the same mechanism, but hidden in different animals or different pictures. So let me show you how this is working using a mechanism that's a little more familiar using rigid bodies, or just a bunch of pivot points hooked together with rigid bars like this. In order to make this same movement as the elephant, all you need is six bars like this. And in this case, I just have snaps on them so that they can easily pivot. So I'm gonna hook three of them together like this, and then I'm going to pin two of them together on the bottom, the middle one and the rightmost rod, and then the far left one and the middle one I'm gonna pin together in the center here. So this doesn't look like anything special, but let's take a look at what happens to this spot right here when I turn the parallel bars. So to see this, I'm gonna hang this off the edge of the table. Now watch what happens when I move it. Look at that. So you can see that this end point is just hanging in space, but when I move the entire mechanism, it stays fixed in space, as if there were a pin through it holding it there. So you can see in the rigid body design, it's a lot easier to see what's happening. Now, if you wanna print this for yourself, I'll put the link for it in my description. But let's say you don't have a 3D printer. Well, that brings me to the sponsor of our video, PCBWay. PCBWay is a one-stop solution for PCB manufacturing and assembly. They offer low volume PCB production for your small orders. And if you find a lower price somewhere else online, you can just let them know and they'll try to match it or even beat it. And because of their unique processing capabilities, they have the shortest lead time possible. And also you can find all your PCB related services, but they also do 3D printing. So that means you can take any file that you want 3D printed, upload it to their website, and you'll get it in the mail. And they also offer CNC services, injection molding, and sheet metal fabrication. The reason that PCBWay can offer such low prices is because they're a manufacturer and a PCB assembler, so they can skip the middleman. So if you want to check out PCBWay today and make some really cool stuff, click the link in my description and head to PCBWay.com. These elephants are an example of something called compliant motion. And what it means is that you achieve force or motion transmission through elastic body deformation. So normally you don't want things to bend, but in this case, you try to make things bend elastically to produce the motion that you want. Now you can do all sorts of things with compliant mechanisms. For example, here's a compliant mechanism that makes it so this lever can't move in one position, but if you pop this up to a different position like this, now this is completely loose and free to move on its own. Pop it down, it's locked, then pop it up, and it's completely loose. The reason that compliant mechanisms like this are useful is because it makes it so that there's no moving parts rubbing and sliding past each other. You can see that they're only bending elastically, so there's not ever plastic deformation, so things don't wear out as easily. And nothing in this case ever has to be oiled. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, or hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out theactionlab.com for products that we have available. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.